So today we're going to show you how we take some of our Creole collard greens from our garden and make it into this. Ooh, these are beautiful. Beautiful. So we've been growing these Creole collards for a little bit over a year. They survived the heat, extreme heat that we had. And uh, I was kind of surprised about that. But then again, we had this tree that kind of gave them some protection from of the shade i mean of of the sun and uh i think that was one of the main contri contributing factors that would kept these leaves this plant looking good i mean look how big these leaves are we're going to be making some creo collard greens we got some aduli sausage. We're gonna use some um, some onions, some garlic, some peppers from our garden that Mrs. Nicky Gardner uh, froze, and uh, so that way we can we didn't have to use it all at one time. Maybe eventually later we'll. We'll get a freeze dryer so that way we can freeze dry our collards or whatever type of things that we're going to be harvesting from our garden. But man, I'm liking these. This is, we grew these at our last place as well and loved them. I like them a lot better than Georgia collards. Sorry, bro. I know a lot of these people in Georgia, they love their collards as well, hence the Georgia collards. So we're gonna leave some of the leaves on the plant and that's gonna allow it to still gain some of that sun, that vitamin D, and be able to photosynthesis and continue to grow. And then they call that method a cut and come along, where you don't have to cut it all off at that particular uh, usage. So we're gonna do uh, this one the same as we did that one, and then show you how we're gonna put this all together. What you doing, little boy? Huh? You know, this is a perfect weather to be making some collard greens. And especially doing some Creole, kind of making it like a gumbo. And with the Mrs. Naked Gardener uh, learning to can, she could can some of these and we can give it out to family and friends. How many of y'all grow collard greens? And how do you cook them and prepare them? Comment down below and let us know. Maybe that you got somebody that don't know anything about collard greens, they can learn as well. All right, so we're gonna run into the house, rinse these off, take care of these, and see what else we can do while these are getting cleaned and cooking. All right, so here I am taking out the stems. We're gonna feed these to the rabbits. I'm gonna roll these up like a cigar and prepare to cut them into thin strips. It basically helps uh, cook them down a lot faster and easier. And 
Now we're gonna make a roux, one part oil and one part flour. Let's stir this all up to get into a nice buttery, peanut buttery type of uh, look. And I'm noticing here, I wish I would've went with a wooden spoon, but I'm going to proceed. I think later on I do get a wooden spoon. Then we're gonna add the trinity, the onions, the peppers, and the celery. And we're gonna cook these and sweat these out for about three to five minutes. Now for the garlic. Now we're going to add the ingredients. Uh, we're going to put a list of all the ingredients that we put into this at the end of the video. We're going to stir that all up, get it all infused with that Trinity. A little salt of that Redmond Real Salt. We're going to do some ground uh, black pepper. And then we're going to add some uh, homemade broth. So now we have two quarts of uh, bone broth in there and then we're gonna add the smoked turkey leg. And now, which I've been waiting for, is the Creole collard greens. I'm gonna add these to the pot. Now there's gonna uh, wilt down so I won't be able to add all of it at the same time. But as it cooks down, we're going to uh, add the remaining portions of the Creole collard greens. It's been cooking now for about an hour and a half. Uh, we've been checking how the meat is falling off the, the uh, turkey leg there. Taste the sauce. See what it, if it needs any extra seasoning. We're gonna add some bay leaves uh, in here and let it uh, cook down for another 45 minutes. All right, so we had the timer go off and now let's see how these bad boys look. So we got the turkey leg falling apart in there. Let's see if we could peel some more of that off of that. Just falling off the bone. We're just gonna allow it to cook even more. Just let it simmer in there. Let's see how these taste. Grab a little bit of that turkey. Turkey, turkey. You're just looking for the sausage. Oh yeah, I forgot about the sausage. Whew. Doesn't that look good? I should have had more broth in there. I probably Probably next time I do this, add more of that chicken broth in there. Like three quarts? Yeah. Since it's gonna be kind of like a Creole style, should I add it more broth? Made it real soupy, especially for this type of weather we've been having. Mm. 
Yeah. Definitely should have added even more sausage in this. The dually sausage. So you would have gone with two times that and three quarts mm -hmm. of the broth? Mmm. When you taste it with the andouille sausage, oh man, definitely could have added more. But I guess since we're having with the turkey leg, but yeah, it's good. Now this turned out damn good. Uh, there's, like I said, I would add some more andouille sausage and maybe even some more of our broth. But other than that, it still turned out very very good and i'll probably have to do some more tweaking next time i do this if you want to see how we did some other collard green recipe we'll put that video off to the side and down in the description below until the next video let's grow together